All right, y'all, y'all already know. So, Coach Prime Colorado Buffaloes went up against Utah. I don't even what the Utes? Utes, however you say their last, <laughs> their, their name. But they played them yesterday, uh, it was a 12 o'clock game. And, um, you know, it uh, Coach Prime ended up proving it again. They ended up beating the Utah Utes 24 to 49. Or they put up 49 points on them. Now, Shador Sanders went 30 of 41, 340 yards in the air, three touchdowns, one interception. Travis Hunter, he actually rushed the ball for five yards and a touchdown. Also did receiving five yards, five receptions, 55 yards, and also got an interception on defense. So, I mean, at this point, I, mean, I know the running back at Boise State, and there's a couple other people, but Travis Hunter is clearly the Heisman Trophy winner. You might as well just go ahead and give it to him. Colorado is now 8-2, eight 8-2. And, eight and, and I seen where a lot of people was trying to say that, oh, they play in a weak conference now. See, when they lost in Nebraska, people were saying, you know, and even I was critical of, of the team. Oh, they're, they're, this is going to be a disaster of a year. And they've proven everybody wrong. They've proven everybody wrong. They've won eight games. And I believe that they were really close to being nine and one. So, I mean, at this moment, I don't know if they'll be a playoff team. But, I mean, I guess if they win the Big 12, then I could see them being in the playoffs. But I've seen Jason Whitlock and other people are critical of Coach Prime. And now, remember, it went from saying he couldn't coach to, oh, they're playing in a weak conference. But like Shannon Sharp said, well, if they're playing a weak conference, wasn't they picked to, win, to beat to finish second in the conference? He has, he has won. First year, they only won three games. And everybody was laughing at them. And, yeah, they was the media darling. But now, they have won eight games and damn near could have been nine and one uh, i forget which team it was had they not uh slipped up in the end of the game they could be almost nine and one right now travis hunter is the best player in the country if they don't give it to him it's purely because they got an issue with coach prime i've seen his press conferences he said don't 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 hold y'all hate i'm paraphrasing but don't hold y'all hate against me to have not had travis win the heisman because he's the best player in college football and he reminds me a lot of Charles Woodson when he played at Michigan. So, you know, and uh, even with Shador, you know, when they went to Jackson State, people was like, oh, they're just, you know, they're dominating because they're at Jackson State. But then, okay, well, then now they didn't went to Colorado. Remember, they upset TCU last year. And this year, like I said, Travis and Shador, they've been dominating at, at the elite level. Coach Prime has two uh, top five picks going to come out, guaranteed, and also probably going to get juju lewis down here he's not too far from me down here in Carrollton, georgia that's probably going to commit to the colorado buffaloes there was an image of shador handing him the keys earlier this past year and he decommitted from usc because now they got some star quarterback out there from the, the greater los angeles area so it looks like it's going to be up and up for coach prime he said before he rather recruited a portal versus in uh college uh recruiting from your regular draft class and look i was a little critical of that too but hey, at this moment it's working. I mean, hey, you might you can get the third fourth the third string from UGA, have him go to Colorado play. He already all American going to UGA. And you know, as you can see now, the hey, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. I know that's a little old school Midwest saying, but look, what what more can the man do? You know, but don't be surprised, and this is just me. Don't be surprised if Jerry Jones offered him a blank checkbook or some one of these uh power real power power five power four schools like a sec school or a big 10 school try to offer coach uh prime a blank check and hey if they offer it to him i can't be mad at him for taking it so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it man salute to him look they a hey, they eight and two i had them winning six games so they've already won two more to my expectations but y'all let me know do y'all think this is a fluke do y'all think that they're playing in a week in a week conference let me know below